today I will give you a few reasons why your scooter is bogging down when you try to turn your throttle. And in this video I will show you how. Well, hello and welcome. If your scooter is bogging down, if you have any problem with your scooter, that when you turn the throttle of your scooter, your scooter goes boo. Is that kind of like funny noise that it makes? Your scooter is bogging down and doesn't give you any performance. Now at this point I can give you a few reasons why your scooter is not really performing the right way and is bogging down. Now one of the most common reasons could be that your scooter is starving for fuel. So when you try to turn the throttle, your scooter is not really getting enough fuel. Now one of the reasons that is very important to check could be your fuel filter. Fuel filter is this little device right here that is very important. Now, a lot of sediment, a lot of things can come to this fuel filter and can clog the filter and can really close this filter or sometimes even the uh, fuel nowadays has a lot of, uh, you know, corn, a lot of additive, a lot of things in the fuel that after a while they will become kind of like a gluey and they will close this fuel filter. Now, to check your filter, you have to go on the lower left side of your scooter and look underneath where you're going to see the filter. Now, if the filter is dirty, you have to empty the tank of your scooter and you have to replace the filter. Now, by emptying the tank, you just have to disconnect the hose and have a container where you're going to place all the fuel that is inside the tank. After that, you're just going to replace this little filter that is really easy to replace with a hose that is a 316 hose for fuel filter for a GY6 scooter. I will put the link down here for the fuel filter and for the hose so you can change this one. This one is one of the first reasons why your scooter is bugging down. At this point, I will give you another reason that could be the reason and this one could be the carburetor. Carburetor is one of those things that is really they have the job the carburetor to mix your fuel, but sometimes because there is a lot of mechanical things inside the carburetor that something might not work. So at this point I will show you right on the top of the carburetor what you should look when your scooter is bugging down. This is the carburetor of your scooter. Right here is where the air comes in from the air filter. There is a plunger inside here that this one goes up with the needle that is inside here and release the fuel that is in the bowl. Now this one sometimes, they, right here, the plunger that is inside, sometimes does not open when you turn the throttle because it's been damaged by the ethanol that is present inside the fuel of the gasoline. Now, sometimes what you have to do, you just have to open the top part right here of the carburetor, just unscrew it. Now be careful because there is inside a spring and this one will spring the top part out and will come out really fast. So now you just have to make sure to keep a finger on the top right here and release the spring. At this point you can see the plunger. This is the plunger that is inside your carburetor. Some of them they are made of metal and some of them they are made of plastic or rubber. Now the problem is that the rubber one they are getting damaged a lot faster and what you can do you just get them out, get the little cleaner inside right here inside the container right here inside the carburetor just clean this part right here and you can clean it with the little sandpaper and you put it inside right there and you turn it a little bit like that you just clean the inside of the carburetor okay with a little bit of sandpaper not too much very fine sandpaper you clean the inside part right here of the carburetor now what you can do you take a little WD-40 silicone and you can spray inside here slightly so this one will help the little plunger do come back to life a little bit. So you're just going to place the plunger inside here and twist it a little bit to make sure 
is going to get all the silicone grease everywhere. To make sure this one is going to be nice and smooth when it's going to go up and down inside your carburetor. This one could be one of the reasons because this one sometimes they get stuck and they don't go up and down. This plunger sometimes doesn't go up and down like that. It does not move when you turn the throttle. So not having this plunger right here going up, as soon as you turn your throttle, your scooter will go boo. So it will not perform the right way. This one is one other cause of your scooter backing down. Another reason why your scooter could back down and not really perform the right way is the CDI, the Capacitor Discharger Injection System. Now, this one is a little box that is on the inside right side of your scooter and this one will really help your scooter to fire up your spark plug. Now, if this one is damaged or is not really performing the right way, your scooter will bog down when you try to turn the throttle and give more electricity to your spark plug. So if this one will fail, you could have a bog down on your scooter. Now, this one, they don't cost a lot of money. A CDI it will cost about $8 to $20 sixty dollar if you really want a really high performance ones but the more reliable is the cdi that comes with the scooter with the gy6 scooter and is the black color cdi this one is a six pin cdi for the gy650 cc so this one is another reason why your scooter could bug down at this point i will give you another reason another reason why your scooter could bug down when you turn the throttle of your scooter could be your air filter now if you have a dirty air filter your scooter will not perform right because when you turn in the throttle of your scooter your scooter will request from you fuel and air if you have a dirty air filter your scooter could bog down so make sure you to change your air filter every 3,000 miles on your scooter so you will avoid the problem or having the scooter bugging down another way to find out if your scooter is bugging down just turn on your scooter place your scooter on idle and uh, you have to expect the vacuum line that comes from the manifold right in front of the carburetor right here now you could have uh, a leak at the manifold seal or gasket that that will be this one that sometimes they could break because they're made of plastic so with the heat they could crack and they could let some air inside your motor okay so at that point your scooter will back down but sometimes even the lines of the vacuum line if they are cracked or broken these lines they are coming from the front manifold if they are cracked or broken or the connection the T connection that you have on the line right here or something is disconnected from here that could be the top part of your carburetor that problem you could have a bogging down problem when you try to turn on the turn the throttle you could have a problem when you turn the throttle now to find out if you have a leak on the vacuum, just buy a little brake part cleaner with the long straw and you try to spray on the hoses or the vacuum hose. G gently try to spray over there. Now if you hear a change on the idle or a noise or your scooter start to die down when you spray the brake cleaner you have a broken hose or you have a leak at the hoses that they go from the manifold to the padcock now the padcock is the fuel valve or your GY6 scooter now if you have a leak on the vacuum lines you will have to replace the hose because the pack 
Backcock, the valve, the fuel valve will not open the right way or will not open enough when you turn in the throttle and your scooter is requesting more fuel. So, buy a little brake cleaner and spray slightly, little bit of brake cleaner gently on the hoses and on the front, front part of the manifold. So if you spray the front part of the manifold, if there is a leak around there on the gasket of the manifold, there is a front part of the scooter on the front part of the carburetor, and you hear a change on idle, change of rhythm of your scooter, change of sound of the scooter, you have a leak on your lines or on your gasket. This one could be one of the reasons why your scooter is bugging down. So at this point I'd like to remind you that it could be a thousand things or a thousand reasons why your scooter is bugging down when you try to turn the throttle of your scooter. So one of the best reasons could be dirty air filter, a bad CDI, a dirty plunger inside the carburetor, a broken gasket at the front manifold or could be dirty filter or you could have a crack or broken or disconnected hose at your vacuum line so at this point i'd like to thank you very much for watching my video feel free to visit my youtube channel visit my uh, tiktok anytime you like and uh, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and have a great day. Hey. Hey.